Ladies and gentlemen, the official ceremony will begin momentarily. At this time, please silence or turn off all electronic devices. Please be aware that this event is live streamed. Viewing, so please be mindful of standard operational security concerns. This does include the wearing of badges.
Good afternoon, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the 192nd Support Squadron's Assumption of Command Ceremony. My name is Master Sergeant Christy Price, and I will be your narrator for today's ceremony. Today, the men and women of the 192nd Support Squadron welcome their incoming commander, Major Fallon Martin. The presiding officer for today's ceremony is Colonel J. Stock Dinsmore, 192nd Mission Support Group Commander. We would like to extend a warm welcome to, the, to Major Martin's family and distinguished guests in attendance today, both in person and virtually. Major Martin's husband, Mr. Adam Martin, their children, Liam and Delaney, her, mother, her father, John McNeil, Colonel, U.S. Air Force retired, and her mother, Leanne McNeil, her sister, Captain Megan Selke, officer in charge, 192nd Wing Public Affairs Office, and Mr. Russell Rakestraw, her mother and father-in-law, Karen and Mark Rodriguez, her grandparents, Lawrence Fallon McNeil, Colonel, U.S. Air Force retired, and his wife, Elaine, her grandmother, Patsine Boyd, Major Martin would like to make special mention of her departed grandparents, her grandfather, Vernie Boyd, Chief Master Sergeant, U.S. Air Force, retired, and her grandmother, Carolyn McNeil. Also with us today, the Honorable Bryce Reeves, Senator, Virginia's 17th District. Major General Timothy Williams, the Adjutant General of Virginia, and his wife, Cheryl. Command Chief Master Sergeant James Perfita, Command Senior Enlisted Leader, Virginia National Guard. Brigadier General James Ring, Director of the Joint Staff, Joint Force Headquarters, Virginia. Brigadier General Lord, Air Component Commander, Virginia Air National Guard. Brigadier General Thomas Dukes, Jr., Assistant Adjutant General, Air, Virginia Air National Guard. Walter Mercer, Brigadier General, U.S. Army, retired, and his wife, Kathy. Robert Gray, Jr., Brigadier General, U.S. Air Force, retired. Colonel David Lands, Director of the Air Staff, Virginia Air National Guard. Colonel Mark Piper, 192nd Wing Commander. Colonel Catherine Jumper, 192nd Wing Vice Commander. Chief Master Sergeant Rich Roberts, 192nd Wing Command Chief. Former 192nd Fighter Wing Commanders, Mark McCauley, Colonel U.S. Air Force, retired, and his wife, Stacy, and Brian Turtle, Turner, Colonel U.S. Air Force retired and his wife, Jody. Command Sergeant Major Alan Ferris, the 29th Infantry Division Command Sergeant Major. Jay Ellis, Command Chief, Master Sergeant U.S. Air Force retired. Major Martin Civilian Manager and CFO, Jim Zuffaletti. And all other commanders, enlisted leaders, airmen, soldiers, family and friends in attendance. Today, we welcome you. The Assumption of Command Ceremony is a military tradition deeply rooted in history. Dating back to 3 July, 1775, when General George Washington drew his sword under the elm tree in Cambridge, Massachusetts to assume command of the Continental Army. During the American Revolution, military units carried distinctive flags designed to match the color of their uniforms and emblazoned with a motto selected by the commander. When soldiers followed their leader into battle, this flag provided a highly visible point around which members of the unit could rally during the pandemonium of battle. Because of its importance, the flag was used in the Continental Army's earliest assumption of command ceremonies. The organization's banner was exchanged in full view so every soldier could see the officer now entrusted to lead them into battle. The modern ceremony you will see today is rooted in this military tradition and announces to all the authority of the incoming commander. Today, Major Martin will assume command of the 192nd Support Squadron. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand for the arrival of the official party and remain standing for the singing of the national anthem by Cynthia Meekins, Master Sergeant U.S. Air Force, retired, followed by the invocation by Chaplain Hunter.
What so proudly we hail at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watch were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh say does that star spangle banner and wave for the land of the free and the home of the I invite you to join me in prayer. Heavenly Father, we pause to thank you for the gift of another day and the opportunity to serve this great country. Today, we are here to recognize Major Fallon Martin as she assumes command of the 192nd Support Squadron. We ask that you bless her as she takes on this new role. May you provide her with wisdom, strength, discernment and everything that she needs as she leads these airmen to new heights of excellence and service. For the members of the 192nd Support Squadron, may they unite in a spirit of sacrifice as they carry out their individual roles and common mission. We pray for the security of our nation and for the safety of those who defend freedom, whoever and wherever they are. Make us mindful of those on whose shoulders we stand, as well as those who follow in our paths. Please continue to provide us with grace and mercy and continue to bless these United States of America. Amen. Ladies and gentlemen, please be seated. Thank you, Master Sergeant Meekins and Chaplain Hunter. At this time, I would like to introduce the presiding officer for today's ceremony, Colonel J. Stock Dinsmore, 102nd Mission Support Group Commander. Thank you, everyone. I appreciate your attendance. We have actually quite a bit of distinguished visitors here, so I'm not going to read through that list again, but sirs, ma'ams, fellow commanders, chiefs, uh, appreciate everyone coming out uh, in attendance and supporting this event. Um, Unfortunately, today uh, we had um, a uh, potential exposure with several of our teammates uh, for, for COVID. So regrettably, Lieutenant Colonel Garner could not be here, but uh, I know she sends her best. Colonel Garner, I hope you're out there watching us uh, through Facebook Live, but um, you know we appreciate all of your service, the two years that you dedicated to the support squadron. Uh, we know that your airmen are appreciative of that. You had an outstanding yet an awesome uh, commander's call last month to kind of put out those accolades and show your appreciation for all the hard work of the support squadron. So, uh, Lieutenant Colonel Garner, uh, we just appreciate all the hard work you've done for us over the last two years. Uh, for Major Martin, so uh, it's just a tremendous honor to, to the career that you've already had, almost 19 years in, in the Virginia Air National Guard and, and serving our great Commonwealth, and then to eventually come back to the things that you did at Joint Force Headquarters, and now come back here to the wing. Uh, we're just excited to have you back in the seat. We welcome you into command. Uh, it's gonna be an exciting and challenging time, and as we've kind of already discussed, it should be almost be the, one of the most rewarding times as you start uh, take that squadron command, and uh, it's just such a fulfilling 
destiny to see you come back and 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 be a commander here at the wing. So we welcome you. We welcome the entire Martin McNeil family. Thank you so much for for being here to support her. So thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand as Colonel J. Stock Dinsmore performs the official assumption of command. By the order of the governor of the Commonwealth of Virginia, Major Fallon Martin will take command of the 192nd Support Squadron, Joint Base Langley Uses, Virginia, Special Order Number GW TAC 01, effective 6 November 2020. Officers. Oops. Sir, I assume command. Thank you. Um, if it's all right, I'm going to remove this because, you know, oxygen is key. Whew. Thank you all for being here. It means the world to me. Um, friends, family, colleagues for many, many years from all over this organization and further, your presence today, both here in person and also virtually, there are a lot of you out there. I'm so grateful for you for reaching out and letting me know that you're there. Um, I feel you behind me, and I'm so, so grateful. Um, all of you have touched me in either my personal life or my career in a very meaningful way. So thank you all for being here. And of course, I must thank Senator Reeves, you're out there, General and Mrs. Williams, um, Chief Profita, you're somewhere, there you are, um, General Ring, thank you, sir, General Lord, thank you, ma'am, General Dukes is out there, General and Mrs. Mercer are out there, General Gray is back there somewhere, um, Command Sergeant Major Ferris, you're out there. And thanks also to my wing and group leadership teams, um, Colonel Piper, Colonel Jumper, uh, uh, Colonel Densmore, Chief Master Sergeants Roberts and Fretwell for the faith that you're putting in me to lead this squadron. Um, I, I don't take that responsibility lightly and I'm incredibly grateful. Um, to Colonel Garner for the obvious care that you have invested in these airmen over the past two years. Um, it is felt, I'm already hearing about you um, I'm grateful for your mentorship. I know you're out there watching um, and they're in good hands, so thank you. To Colonel and Mrs. McCauley, Colonel and Mrs. Turner, Colonel Lands, Colonel Schlegel, Colmer, Chief and Winnie Morris, Chief Ellis, Chief Meehan, Chief Field, Chief Murphy, Mrs. Harlow Sullivan, Joint Force Headquarters and the OTAG team and my Safeguard Cyber family, um, and also the Piscatelli family. I know the list is long, thank you for bearing with me, um, but these people deserve my gratitude because I would not be here without them investing in me over the years. Thank you in advance to the airmen of the 192nd Support Squadron for putting your faith in me, hopefully. Um, I am thrilled to be coming home as was previously mentioned um, and to be working alongside such a talented group of individuals that I've already had the pleasure of working with this drill. To see you in action is awe inspiring. Um, thanks especially to the team that made this event possible today. I'm going to miss somebody, um, and it's not because I didn't see you. It's just I didn't get all of your names because there were a lot of you. Sergeants Meekins, Reed, Price, Ortiz, Matthews and Jones, Airman Page, Airman Barton, um, and the outstanding 192nd PA team that's behind the scenes right, scenes right now, making sure that people at home can be participating in this event with me today. It's so important, and I really appreciate it. And last, but certainly the most, my family, Adam, my rock, Liam and Delaney, the reasons that I get up every day and do the best that I can do. Um, to my mother, my father, my sister, my grandparents. Um, 
for showing me the way through their Air Force service. I love you. All right, I'm going to get it together. It takes a village, clearly, to allow a person to arrive in an event like today. And I don't mean just the awesome responsibility of taking command, but being able to serve for 18 years, it takes all those people and more, um, our employers, you know, our communities. And it's not lost on me that I have been given just incredible opportunities, more than I deserve by many of you in attendance today. So I'm standing on your shoulders, and I'm grateful for you. Um, and I view this as my chance now to invest in airmen and to give them even more opportunity than I've ever had. Um, and, and that's my focus going into this command. Um, I'm not going to bore you with my biography, but as, it, as they said before, I'm coming home to this unit. When I was 17 years old, I enlisted in the military personnel flight, um, and that was almost 19 years ago. So I spent a long time in this wing, growing in service, spent some time at the headquarters, um, and I... I have to laugh because I enlisted in high school as a 17-year-old. 9-11 um, happened that year. And just a couple months prior, we were talking about, how are we going to pay for school? What's your plan? And I told my parents, I will never join the military, like a lot of you in the room. Um, and then 9-11 happened. And of course, the world sh uh, perspective shifted and mine did tremendously. And a couple months later, later I enlisted in this awesome unit. And I, I've never left because I love this place. It is home. It is my family. Um, and it's just the best organization to be part of. So, so glad to be coming home. Um, so though I've been away for a while, this is home to me. I'm grateful to be here. Thank you for welcoming me back. And this is why it gives me so much pleasure um, to work with the airmen in the support squadron, because I like to think of the support squadron functions as the heartbeat of the wing. Um, I know that um, we have in the Virginia Air National Guard and the Virginia National Guard on the whole, we have like the bright, shiny missions. We are the tip of the sphere. Um, we, we have the baddest maintainers, cyber intelligence, engineering, security warriors, and of course, our zipper-suited sun gods that we love, the roots of our Air Force. Um, and we, they are amazing. They rock. They go out and deliver decisive combat power to the world. Um, and we're so proud of them. But to the airmen of the support squadron, you are the lifeblood that allows them to do that. Um, we fuel their fight in the most fundamental way. We feed them, house them, mobilize them, connect them, care for them. And they are our most precious weapon system. Do not forget that. That is a heavy weight that I now carry and I carry it with you. I know you carry it too. And I, I'm more proud to do that than any other job I've ever done. Um, so I'm also, more confident in this team than I've ever been in my career, and I'm so excited to get started with you. Um, I'm also violating Major General Williams' policy of keeping it brief. So <laughs> with all the work we have ahead of us um, and all that I know we're going to do together, let's get back to that. Thank you for your time and your patience today, um, and just thanks for being here. That's all I have. The men and women of both the Virginia Air and Army National Guard would like to congratulate Major Martin and wish her all the success in her new position. Another applause, please. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please stand for the departure of the official party. We thank you for attending. Please join us in congratulating Major Martin and her family in the foyer of the hall. For safe social distancing practices, we will dismiss by rows today. For those that will be remaining, I'm just, I apologize, refraining from the receiving line, we kindly ask that you exit through the side door to the right of the stage. This concludes today's ceremony and have a wonderful day.